Podcast. Now, hi to everybody at the MCA uh, conference today. Sorry, I can't be there, but I'm in America. Um, and that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. So welcome to Washington, DC. Um, I'm gonna give a bit of a, a background on, on Leon and our launch here, where we, we started the journey, where we're at now, and what our future looks like. So come on in. And here we are, 1724 L Street. This was a, a 60th Leon, but the very first Leon in America. Come and have a look. It's probably three questions everyone's actually thinking. Why America? Why now? And why DC? John and Henry with Allegra started Leon on Carnaby Street back in 2004, always with an ambition of becoming a global fast food brand. And ultimately, McDonald's and fast food was born in America. And we feel it's only right to bring fast food home in our fashion, naturally. And we think now's the moment because we've got really good footprint in the UK and we understand our brand more than ever before. We've tested some international markets. Interestingly, McDonald's first market outside of the US was the Netherlands and Schiphol, which was also our first international restaurant. When I first started breaking the news to people back in London and in the UK, but we're coming to America, the response was quite familiar. It was like, oh, great, New York, what a great city. But we all know that the USA is so much more than New York. So we combed the US looking at other cities. But when we started sifting it down, what we actually said is it's really important to be in a city that we like being in. The more we travel to DC as a team, the more we realized that we had the most parallels to the London market. People really like walking in the city. There's a good usage of a metro. People use cars, but not a strong reliance on cars. There's a really strong food culture here and growing fast. So we're really pleased to be here. And we often say it's like dropping a stone in a pool and the ripples from that pool as we move out from territory we understand. So we know how to operate in high density office space. We're getting better at operating on high streets and residential areas. We've got good wisdom in the UK of train stations, airports and shopping centres. So when we look at the DC market and we start stretching into Virginia and Maryland, we know there's a lot of growth opportunity in the next three to four years. How do you begin launching a brand in a new country? Well, we thought we'd start with learning from others. So we tried to create a network of people both in the US and people in the UK but have been through the experience or they know America really, really well. And back in 2012, Brad Bloom joined our board. Brad was the former CEO for Burger King. And with Brad joining our board, he's opened up a tremendous network of people. And in addition to that, there's a lot of great brands from the UK, which have launched really well in the States. Um, and everyone, of course, has learnings along the way. And we're really keen to learn the positives on what other people have done, in addition to what would we do differently through, their, through our eyes. We're always really careful not to second guess what America would want from the Leon brand. There's so many stereotypes. It'd be easy to second guess that Americans want bigger portions. Americans want bigger cups of coffee. But what we thought was important is to, to really go out there and listen to our customers. So we've done a lot of pre-opening consumer taste panels. There's a great phrase about listening hard and changing fast. And the joy of being one restaurant today in America is we've got the ability to listen and we've got the ability to change fast. I think one of the greatest learnings I made from most consumer taste panels is we're two countries divided by the same language. We've done multiple panels and we presented to them uh, the breakfast meal deal. So similar to in the UK, it's a fixed price, um, any regular coffee and any food item, which and the price was pitched and we thought it was a really great price. But universally, everyone in the taste panel said, like, that's really poor value. Somebody said, ah, if it was a milk-based coffee, that's, for that's really great value. And I said, but it is milk-based, it's any cappuccino, latte, any regular size. Of course, in America, a regular coffee is a drip coffee or a filter coffee. Americans don't like peas. Um, they just didn't get peas. We had quite a lot of heated debates about the crushed pea salad. Um, and it was like really quite polar, loved or hated. Interestingly, people see porridge as something that's quirky and British, but didn't instantly relate to it. But then talked about oatmeal. Once they tasted the product, they said, but this is so much better than oatmeal because it's richer, it's creamier. So we played it safe and we've run with oatmeal porridge. And in time, I think we've probably dropped the oatmeal as we educate what great porridge is. I think the other the thing that really jumped out was sandwiches. Now in the UK, we'd call a sandwich two slices of bread and a filling in between. But of course in the US, a burger is a ground meat patty. And anything that's not a ground meat patty is referred to as a sandwich here. And it's some of those real small nuances that I think actually made such a big difference on people getting the brand. Right from the offset, we knew it was important that when you walked into a Leon, regardless of whether it's here in DC, whether it's in Schiphol, or whether it's the original Leon on Carnaby Street, it should look the same, taste the same, and feel the same. 
yet still maintaining our food principles that it's locally sourced. So coffee is a really great example where we've worked with a great local roastery um, over in Alexandria. Uh, we worked hard over about a six month period. We've done many tastings and many roastings and many blends to get to a stage where we had a coffee bean that tasted the same. Now it would have been easy to import that coffee bean so it was exactly the same, but it's important to maintain our food values. We've been really lucky to have found and partnered with a really cool company called Tractor. And in fact, I think Travis and Luke are at the MCA today, so definitely go and say hello to them. Now the joy of the Tractor product is when it lists cinnamon, it contains cinnamon. Our cola contains cola nut. Without question, one of the toughest things about setting up Leon here in the US was building the supply chain. A combination of the brand Leon not being massively well known here in DC and initially having some low volumes um, presented many, many challenges. We worked hard at marketing ourselves to suppliers and I think we're very fortunate in the materials we've got. I mean, we've got 10 really great cookbooks. So using those cookbooks, using a lot of the materials from our John Lewis range, we worked hard about building the relationships with the type of people that see the opportunity in the brand. And I think the fact that we are a fast food brand and not a fast casual brand was a massive differentiator. The suppliers were saying but they can see that we've really got legs and opportunity for growth because we're doing something a bit different. But of course it did leave a couple of products on the table where we just couldn't push things into supply chain and it, it made us sit back and ask the question and the question we asked ourselves if we was a startup business if this was the very first leon which it is in america how would we handle it and it's quite a nice touch point to keep going back to that question if we had one restaurant what would we do and i'm massively pleased with the fact as i stand here talking now i'm seeing falafels being hand rolled in the background we make all our own lamb pasta, we make our own meatballs. Exactly as we did when we had Leon on Carnaby Street when there was one restaurant. We started this short film at Leon number one on 1724, so it felt really fitting uh, to, to share with you our second restaurant um, here at 655 New York Avenue. We literally got the keys to the premises a few days ago. We start construction um, in about four weeks from now as we go through permitting. Um, so thank you for watching. If you're in DC, definitely come and say hello. It's, it's always lovely to see friends, uh, as much as the friends we've made here. And um, enjoy the rest of the conference.